back to my channel this is ranjiraj and you are streaming on the study beast so today let us see what is the function point analysis uh, in the software testing and quality assurance this function point analysis that is the fpa uh, is common in software engineering and uh, many other uh, development uh, subjects so uh, mainly function point analysis in testing is used to calculate how many number of efforts or the time is required for the actual completion of the task that is for the testing purpose now there is a software testing life cycle that is the stlc which is followed uh, in every testing whether it is unit testing integration testing alpha testing beta testing or any other testing so for that we need to estimate how many number of efforts based upon the line of codes that we are executing uh, we will get some function point and based on that we will estimate how many number of resources or how many number of uh, time or how much is the complexity which is actually required in order to execute this testing cases or the test cases so let us uh, move on to the steps to solve uh, the function point analysis or how will you estimate the function point by using this function point analysis so uh, there are basically five steps for this so let's get started so first of all uh, a value adjustment factor that is VAF is used as a multiple of UFP in order to calculate the AFP that is the adjusted function point now what is UFP? UFP is the unified function points that we get while executing from each of the uh, test cases like uh, some parameters would be given that mm -hmm. is critical, incidental like this uh, you can see here so based upon this we will calculate the UFP that is the unified function point and by summing up those uh, we get and by multiplying with the VAF, we get the actual AFP that is the adjusted function point. So this is the very first step, just a clear idea of what you have to gather. Next is the second step. In second step, we actually calculate the general system characteristics that is GSCs is evaluated in terms of the degrees of influence in the scale ranging from 0 to 5 from the following table. Now based upon this, we have some general system characteristics which is uh, laid by a software testing rule that is for the function point analysis we have this by default so a table is laid for that from ranging 0 to 5 actually there are 14 different uh, TDIs so only I am considering the 6 TDIs for this so this TDI says that uh, when the TDI is 0 that means that incidence or that influence is not present at all when it is 1, it is incidental influence. When it is 2, it is moderate influence. When it is 3, it is average influence. When it is 4, it is significant. And when it is 5, it is critical. So these are the 6 TDIs and their definitions which we get from the step 2. Moving on to step 3, we can calculate the TDI that is the total degree of influence by computation of all the TDIs plus left out GSEs whichever is there that we have not calculated so by summing up all these we get the actual TDI next is step 4 that is compute the VAF that is the value adjustment factor now a formula is there that is TDI which you get from here that is step 3 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 plus 0 0.065 now you have to keep in mind that you don't have to play with this formula like you have to substitute the value of TDI as it is into this and just you have to get the output of this if you play with these values or change like if you uh, do it 6.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 uh, this value you may end up getting a wrong answer so to avoid all those things just put the value of TDI in this and get the output and move on to the further step and step 5 is finally you have to compute the AFP that is the adjusted function point which you need to actually calculate from this that is the main motto of this problem by using UFP multiplied by VAF that is the unified function points that you get from computation of all the TDIs multiplied by the VAF so this will earn some integer value or a floating point value which will give the how many number of efforts or the uh, days or the resources which are required in order to complete the testing uh, based upon the software testing life cycle so i will discuss a problem based on this function point analysis in my next video so check my next video for the problem based on function point analysis it is very simple based upon the table we can just calculate the values and put into these formulas and can finally get the answer 
So this is all about the function point analysis and the steps to how to solve this. In my next video, I'll discuss a problem based on this. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.